Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Standby November and Thomas T. Standby November, of course, the conqueror of Stor, baby. And uh, now we've got Thomas T. I quite like Thomas T's team. Um, it, I, he has only got 11 players, but he's got a wizard and a babe. And Standby November, it's a bit light, isn't it? It depends, it depends if he's like Tackle Mighty in his palm, in his Mighty's fire. But if they don't, like, this elf team is, is good at winning games, isn't it? It can roll some dice, it's got a wizard. It's going to be interesting, pretty uh, pretty kind of even match, I guess, despite being 200 TV down. It's just going to come down to the attrition, really, and, and the wizard. The, the two big things that, that define any match with elves, really, in, in the chalice, isn't it? It's how big is the attrition, how big is the wizard. Uh, whether it's well-timed, or... If it's devastating, and just if the attrition's devastating. Of course, last season versus Sindane, the attrition was horrific for me, and I, I basically had no chance. But maybe with an earlier wizard and a bit of luck, who knows what can happen. Yeah, that is that is the last five years of McGregor, yeah. yeah. He's been zero class for quite a while now. <laughs> Hello, Adva. Even for calcium, when you when you when you when you're crossing calcium limits, you know you've done something wrong. Is it beating up old folks in pubs as well? That's maybe a bit. That's maybe a bit stepping over the mark, isn't it? Calcium likes to beat up fourteen-year-olds, not old, not old people. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, running around a little bit there. I oh, like that. He's got the three, you know, three of the key players ready to. Uh, you know, totally protected. Obviously, too far back for this wizard here right now. But you know, both players have got to be thinking about the wizard at all every turn, haven't they? You know, like every turn you've got to be thinking as the as the uh, things as the uh, as both sides. But like you know, as the undead, you've got to defend against the wizard every single turn. And and as the elves, you've got to think: Can I get anything out of it? Because you know you're on a clock. Because it's probably going to foul you. It's probably going to, you know, tackle my you a bit. Probably going to lose players. But this is a terrible turn here. This had to be reinforced over here. Like this is such an easy team split now, isn't it? Bunch of wankers. Sixth, amazing, congrats Ardvark, incredible, absolutely incredible, I wish I could drive a car, a virtual car obviously. <laughs> Does the ghoul have dump off? No. The problem is by splitting the team here, it's not achieving that much because ultimately all of his team is here ready to be reconnected. Incredible. So what you're saying is if everyone was as good as you, you'd have only got 9x. <laughs> Oh, that was it. This was a horrible, horrible blitz. You hit this guy. You, you have to hit this guy because you have to get these guys back on side. I don't want to say it was shit and wrong. But it was 100% shit and wrong. 100%. You have to blitz this guy. 
Hit him there, get the extra hit if you need it, and then get these two guys on side. Well, now you've got a bolt here, haven't you? That was hideously bad. No offence. In my opinion. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's right or wrong? No, you bolt as well. You don't need a bolt, but you bolt as well. Make sure. I learned my lesson in the uh, in the chalice against Sindane when I, you know, I thought I had a real good chance. And, uh, you know, but bolt and make sure is, is the play. Is Witch Elf can come in and get it, can't she? Oh, he's doing it with his strength. Oh, this was wrong, in my opinion. In my opinion. Because she could have just gone one, two, three, four, five. Like, you know, the other one. I'll pause it here, look. This one could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? With dodge. Probably not going to. Like, I know it's more dodges, but. If you pop it on the first one, then you can move down, right? So you can, you can do the first dodge to see. And then you can do the second dodge, right? And then you do the second dodge. And if you pop it, then you can still alt the course, right? And then if you've popped dodge, then you can just go that way. It doesn't really matter which way you go. You could, like, go there. You, you, you've just got options. I think you definitely should have tried it with this one, going that way. But never mind. It's fair enough having the Edge 5. He's like, ooh, Edge 5. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> That's a totally normal reaction to have. But um, I think he should have moved the other one first to see what happened. Um, it's, certain, it's not over, is it? But it's certainly not looking good for the uh, undead. The undead has a clear path to victory, which is banging all the men's out. But uh, yeah, he, he absolutely had to reinforce the, the, the cage there. But uh, not such a bad blitz. What, Dimmy? Oh, he's double skulled. It is coming home, yeah. Coming home to Serbia, <laughs> Djokovic is going to be winning Wimbledon. You're dead right. <laughs> oh no, you mean the England game. It's crazy, isn't it? There's a, there's a, there's a real chance. I'm gonna base the ball. Oh, I don't think he had to base the ball. I think it was better standing here, right, to stop this guy getting out for free. Like, it, I mean, more, almost free. He's got two plus. I would have gone there, and then that keeps him there, and then he's got less back to stop to stop you stopping the stall later. Well, end of the booth, Fame here. Fame here. Yeah. End of the booth. <laughs> I'm in. I am in the channel streaming my uh, Blood Bowl too. So there you go. And he doesn't stall. He gets the goal. How are you doing today, guys? Hello, Fimir. Oh, one day you don't. I saw you the power of my proteins uh, at work. <laughs> With some stupid uh, powerlifting videos there uh, to motivate the masses. Glorious. But in the meantime, <coughs> what do we have here? Oh, already there is the Dark Elves. Uh... The Dark Elves have scored from the Wizard, but they didn't stall out the half, and I think they should have very much tried to stall out the half. I think it was a mistake. As as Ordon says, I think they should, you know, he definitely could have stalled a bit more. Um, yeah, I was watching it, and yeah. It's a pretty bad move from the undead, not leaving the ball ultra protected 
against a wizard and a leap a g5 witch for starters yeah like it like it's hard it's hard to protect against the wizard and the leap a g5 <laughs> but um yeah it was woeful woeful play to be honest that set up the ball to God, oh, there you go. Yeah, at least one or two more, because four turns is very doable, isn't it? Sort of and then there. Down. down two players. So he's running out of players now. Uh, Tomas T. Very common on his teams. <laughs> yeah. I've seen uh, him uh, playing a lot of games in uh, Rebel and uh, other tournaments. Um, he keeps going with the teams, but he also has been able to take massive amounts of punishment. <laughs> yeah, so he should be able to get in the at half, one one at half now, shouldn't he? Uh, stand by November. You would think only nine players. This Pom Tackler really getting his value in this kind of game, though, isn't it? The one that, like, I had a Pom Tackler on the high elves, and eventually I just didn't even have one when he died because I thought, what's the point in having a player that's got, you know, he's got the second double and it's only useful in a handful of matches? But it is good in the chalice, potentially. Yeah. I don't like Pylon on uh, elves. I prefer Mighty Blow elves. I prefer maybe you are now. You want to take much more advantage of you are now. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to take Pally on again, to be fair. Or Guard, which is for Elves, is like a ultra powerful. Yeah. There's the Pal. Wasn't that a Wham song? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm never on again. No, I'm never gonna foul again. That that's the Wham song that I uh, that I wrote on fumble. Scores for the two plus. Fair enough. Just George Michael, wasn't it? Actually, not even Wham. Just George Michael. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the other, the other guy was his uh, high school pal. The only one that the uh, knew that the George Michael was gay. I yeah. supported him, I helped him uh, during this year, so George Michael as a reward, you know, as a prize for his friendship, make him part of one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, careless whisper, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, the Norway country is amazing. Oh, he's gone the leap, he's gone for the 1D, he's got the POW! And that was going to be a surf as well, yep. Yeah, that was maybe a bit of a mistake as well by Standby November. I mean, you wouldn't expect him to be so rowdy, but then he's got the two rerolls, right? And he's got the time, so why not? But he doesn't have sidestep, so he's in danger of getting counter surfed himself here. Whoop! Hello, Volk. Oh, he's double wanded! Ooh, 1 in 36 for the elves! Ooh -hoo -hoo. The classic move. Did he have to do it? Did he have to do it? Could he have just gone here and done the same thing? Probably. But. Yep. Now, are we going to see a surf? No, we're not. I guess he wants the ball next to him so he can recover and uh, get it downfield. Oh, he's killed her! There's no apple, is there? No, there is! There is an apple, but it's failed! Niglin, <gasps> oh. what a beautiful day! <laughs> that, that, that's a proper massive equity change. Oh, that was because so that witch was the best uh, the best player to recover the ball. Yeah. That was real bad, right? This, this zombie should have come across. That was a 3D. You didn't have tackle. That was... You had to make that 3D there. But... Look, a dog gets away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Chalice nerves, maybe. We'll let him off. Is he going to foul? He's not going to foul this witch. 
Oh, it's got to stand firm, so it doesn't matter. Whew. How many Dells left? Not many. Five on the field. Eight max for the second half. And that's why you should have uh, he should have stole instead of scoring in turn four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pal. Maybe he should have still fouled. <laughs> Fails the pickup. Whee! Stacks them up. Love to see the stacking. Oh god, I think that was... Couldn't he gone like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI, gone around there somehow? This was really... Optimistic. Well, I don't know why he's gone that way. Was he going to go this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. I wasn't saying it was wrong. I was just saying he's stacking them up. <laughs> Stack them up. Gotta come in with a rackler. Fails the GFI! Um, they have failed everything that is not a block. Every block has been a power, but everything else has been a complete failure. Oh, God. Well, there you go. So now uh, it's... <laughs> it's Thomas T versus the clock, isn't it, now? With his <laughs> no players left. <laughs> All three come back. Lucky dog. <laughs> so he's got eight. He can dacker this to. Yeah, he's good thing he score. didn't stall. <laughs> yeah. He's going for the score. He's going for the three nil. That's my. Uh, I put my money there. There is not going to be any dacker. Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting question, isn't it? I think dackering is the best. But he might just go for the 3 0, yeah, and then once you 3 0, you can't lose, can you? Whereas if you Daka, he could make it 2 2. I'd prefer to do the Daka or at least retreat a little. <laughs> yeah. Because there is a lot of pain in that and the team. And you need to think <laughs> about your next game, you know? Yeah. But Thomas go all in in every single game. Yeah. All fussy on a. Dark is the style of play. I score uh, two turns, I recover and I score in three. I have no team by turn six. <laughs> yep. But the game is uh, won. I am Steve Martin. I love the Dakar. I love the Dakar and I love high elves. But uh, the only bad thing would be having to play football. <laughs> Imagine that. And he is retreating a bit. I shouldn't have put anyone on the line. Well, I can still put three on the line. It's a yakka. <laughs> then, then why he put the four on the line? It's a yakka. Probably, probably the perfect defense. Do not yeah. change the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it was the penalty. Oh, he's rolled a one. <laughs> It's a yakka, and the guy who dodged away went back in contact so he could have blitzed. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> well, broken leg, uh, earned him millions, so you know. Don't ask, don't ask what they will we do for money. The other day we discussed about that and, <laughs> and Scotch egg was the price. 
Oh, he's dead. It's just dead. Just Hello there, dead. Just a journey, man. Nobody cares. The problem is, of course, he's got to he's got to get his hands on his balls, hasn't he? He needs to move quick, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has a very fast, some fast players. The goals are uh, really good. Yeah. But he needs to score as quick as possible. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, that's the stupid thing about bloody, uh, about Wilder, isn't it? Like, imagine getting offered millions to not fight Tyson Fury. <laughs> I'd take that. I'd take that instantly. <laughs> <laughs> he's already batted him twice. <laughs> he, he knows he's going to lose for the third time. <laughs> Unless he's that mentally actually believes his bullshit excuses. This was uh, pretty bad, wasn't it? Why did he have two assists? Um... I think he's planning to make a cage or something like that. It was like he blocked his own way back, didn't he? Oh, okay, he's just going over there and punching here. Like, I would have wanted to have come back afterwards, you know? There's the dodge. It's a bit tricky, isn't it, against the against the elves? Because like you've got to be able to cover a break away, but then you've got to get like you know you've got limited fast players, and you want to be able to stop the breakaway but also get the pressure on. And it, it is a strength four blodger, so it's it's tricky. <laughs> Highly technical turn plans, pom blitz. Then look at the ball. <laughs> Yeah, it's the classic, oh, I have a bomber, so I have to bomb every turn. <laughs> I have to use every single skill of my team every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's blood. Nah, I'm getting tackle on the witch, but there's was, was already tackle on the witch. Wouldn't it have been better here or here? This guy would have been better here. Just my opinion. I do think tackle. Very good. Tackle are there, another player there. Because you want to hem them in, the last thing you want is them just breaking away. Okay, that didn't change anything. <laughs> Oof, tackle. Makes a 3 plus. Big 3 plus. Oh, big KO. Huge removal. Can't apple it. He's undead. Yeah, there's a few Volk. Hello. Did about four or five first round ones. I'm going to do all. All from the round of 32. Oh, well, now the classic. Do I hit the running away elf or go for the ball? Well, the answer is easy. You need to go for the ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to go like you have to get pressure on his balls. <laughs> you need to get pressure on the balls. I don't know, I like that move. He's moving down many more players. Oh, now he's left a 2 plus up out. So, I think we will see. Pass. Gets tackle on the ball, that's always good, isn't it? He's not, he's just turning him up. 
Okay, hand off to this guy and then potato with him. I still wouldn't have minded having him away, but... Yeah. This might be far enough out. I don't know, and yeah, I could have put it. Been interesting, the punt. But this is safe, isn't it? This is safe on the sideline there, that was pretty good. That was better than punting. He's safe, he's safe there. Well, I mean, he could have gone here and punted, couldn't he? But yeah, this is. Uh, That's alright. This is better, yeah, this is pretty safe. Can double GFI to put Rackle on you. Well, I'm a big fan of the occasional punt um, and winning the race as elves. There, it looked like the uh, the sidestep ghoul could probably win the race, couldn't it? It could. Hello, by the way. Hello. Hello, busy. PC and the Jesus. Thomas T on his way to winning the game and losing the team at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Long standing well, tradition. I seem to recall a chalice or so ago he got utterly deleted by a fairly mediocre dwarf team, so he's due a nice run. Um, he certainly knows what he's doing with Dark Elves, but um, he has an all action style which does tend to put the elves at risk. Yeah. And in case anyone is wondering, it was PC the one that deleted the Thomas T team <laughs> as a car. Yep. Oh. And yeah, he's he's nailed this down ish. Meteor was a bit generous. It was it was an incredible team to fight to fight the Dark Elves. To be fair, but, yes, uh, it was very big built for that, but not really for doing much else. Not for beating the Orcs, no. <laughs> it, it was not even mediocre against the Orcs, was it? It was up shit creek against. Uh, yes. Singolo was well, it? Yes, it was. No. Um, Sindane. Yes, it was Singolo, I think. It was, I knew it was one of those two. <laughs> Yeah, one of those. I forget. They were very similar teams. What was the season of the Orc? Help me. In my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Here we go. He's got in. He's got the pow. Well, this could change everything. It's not really going to, though, is it? But even I mean, it could. There's not a lot of time left. He needs to score next turn. Yeah, he needs to score yeah he's, next he's, got, he's got a couple of threats in, so if he can get the ball to the white, score, and then turn over, it's still doable, isn't it? So you still keep fighting. But but yes, bleakness abounds here. Fuck off, And there are no elves left, so the turnover is a possibility. <laughs> I've seen that from Advert. Good afternoon, family. I congratulate you on waking up today and once more discovering you are not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a very nice uh, waking up, and I rejoice in the fact of not being a, not being a lot of people. Yeah. So don't feel special. <laughs> Cheeky double one there. Hello, G Chimpo. Um, feeling great. It's coming home, isn't it? It's coming home later. Now I've always been confused. Obviously, if you base the ball, you win. But if you double base it, does that reverse it, and do you lose again? Oh, well, he could have done something better than that. That's he? the equity math, the RPC. That's the equity math. The biggest mystery in the universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> it can mean you lose, can't you, when you double base? Because it can. Uh... It provides the change. It's, it's Nafel, Nafel can see that's gloating, you know, and it's like, nah. <laughs> there is no class in uh, double basing. Well, what profit to Thomas T if he wins the round but loses his game? I mean, uh, his best player, the AG5, in my opinion, he, the AG5 leap, uh, which is dead for right. 
Well, niggled, isn't it? It's it's isn't actually niggled. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's giving himself a big pass here. Whereas if he had blitzed this guy, he could have uh, he could have dodged away and gone for the handoff. But it wouldn't have mattered. He just rolled a one anyway and a one on the catch. Yep. And now it's pretty much over, isn't it? Unbelievable. Elves winning with about three players left. <laughs> I mean, oh. theoretically. Blitz plus a turn makes it possible, or a riot makes two turns possible. But yeah, it's it's pretty much over. Yeah. Absolutely, Muller team. It was a decent looking uh, and the team. I don't like the guard in the bomber. I would put the tackle. You go, you know, to make a killer, make a killer. But other than that, they look nice. Block on the mummy. Yeah, it's an it's it's an all right team, isn't it? The uh, the undead. Yes, I mean they're. I mean, when we did the review, Jim, I I stand by what I said then. The undead teams are sort of all all right. Yeah, it's hard for them to look good, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. Which is fair. I mean, they are so dominant up through the TV ranges. But it's just that the uh, you know the meta for the chalice is slightly above where they can really punch their effective weight unless they've got a lot of nice stat ups or doubles. And even yeah. then, need a monster team to progress. And the gap. Yep. Right. So he's looking for a blitz or a riot. Well, hey, look, at least there is that chance. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously anything. Even Amazon's could win with loads of good dice and a good draw and everything, isn't it? But it's really, it's really like everything's got to come together for us, yes. generally. Yeah, they're not, they're not a naturally competitive team at the sort of level that CCL tends to get fought out at in the Chalice area. I mean, Amazons aren't either, that's another thing that limits them. I mean, if CCL was, you know, capped for the chalice at 1500, then Amazons and Undead would have won plenty. Yep. These guys need to be won back in case of a blitz. He has to have his ghouls won back. He's not done it. So now Tomas T can completely neutralise the blitz. Yep, yep. he's done. Yep. So if Awful it's a blitz player. now, the mummies are the pace pieces that go. In fact, it's now, yeah, you're right. It means they just can't. They can't get a score on with a blitz. That's shocking. Yeah, that was <laughs> when you when you're playing to two outs and you take away one of them. <laughs> that's pretty yeah, bad. There you go, eh? There you go, self-inflicted. Uh... Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's on the last. Two. <laughs> and he's he's... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thomas did worry that maybe I'm not gonna lose a player. You know, now I'm better killing myself. Perhaps we should rename him to Thomas One or Thomas Three because that seems to be the number of elves he's ending with. Yeah, if, if you check his uh, usually if you check his rebel team, the target is still the same. The name the players were named, you know, a name and then followed with by, num by a number, and the number was already been nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as I said, when I played him, I you know I hadn't played him before, but I had someone had told me a time ago, and it didn't surprise me. He is very ha, 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 basically um, one kinetic in his elf style, point. very very aggressive. Very I mean, he aggressive. knows how yeah. to pull it off reasonably well, but it's it's going to cost you elves. Absolutely. Thank you very and much, a, a, Chimpo, for the bits there. Glorious, and it's basically one bit per injury. Yeah. Beautifully, yeah. of course, a dead loner MVP. Classic. Absolute classic. Speed, uh, speed the, the double, not just the loner, but the dead loner. <laughs> one, just brilliant. Yeah. Well, there you go. Fifteen armor breaks for the undead. Very well used. Very, very well used. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not the number of armor breaks, is it? It's 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 the quality of them. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. And, uh, but Eighteen you know. armor breaks, twelve injuries, twelve casualties. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and both of those both of those elves will be a worry to the next opponent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely mullered there. You know, I feel like saying condolences to, to Thomas T, but congratulations to Thomas T. <laughs> Commiserations to uh, six feet next week, whatever. I can't remember what he was called. <laughs> Stand by October, uh, November. Stand by November. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, thank you very much, Fine here and PC. Glorious to have you on, as always. A uh, pleasure to be here. It's always well, nice to pop in. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.